good day all and welcome back to our channel. So today in this video, let's see how to configure payment occurs in Odo 14 e-commerce website in community. So in the end, a company is dependent on its revenue generation or return on investment. So purely implying that a business relies entirely on the financial transactions that exist within it. Thus, in exchange for products or services they provide to their customers, every enterprise earns money. So the transfers are made much easier and faster in Odoo Community Edition through some built-in payment actors. So let's see how we can enable and configure or create payment actors and use in online payments. So first, let's go to settings, configuration settings of website. And here when you enable online payment, uh, you can see option to configure payment accounts. So from directly from here we can configure payment accounts. Or we can come under configuration and here under e-commerce you can find payment accounts. Okay, so when you open that, you can see all the available payment accounts. So there are some pre-configured accounts you can see at the end, uh, pay, PayPal and Alipay like this way you can see and you can see most of them are disabled and if you want to activate you can click activate and make it enabled and you can also see one payment occur is enabled this wire transfer is enabled okay so you can create a new payment occur, occur by just click, clicking create button and here we can set the state of the payment occurrence whether it need to be disabled, enabled, or in test mode. So I'm setting it as test mode. And here we can restrict this payment occurrence to be available on a particular website. Then here we can see some configuration related to payment form, payment follow up availability. That is, we can restrict this payment occurrence to be available for certain countries. And here we can set Pending message. If the payment is pending, you can set a payment pending message like your payment is has has been successfully processed but is waiting for approval. If an approval is required by manager, okay. So after setting these details, you can save the payment occurrence. Okay. So below you can see that occurrence is created, and from here we can set uh, image. Now let's go to website and see how we can make payment using this. So when you go to e-commerce shop, here if a customer chooses a product. Okay, so for this product we have can see different variants attributes available. Okay, now a customer can choose the quantity and add this product to cart. And here you can see some optional products, so you can choose them and process checkout. So when pro customer process checkout, you can see uh, the product uh, order line and here you can see some total taxes and you can apply promo code and process checkout. Okay, so from here you can process checkout. And when he process checkout, you can see the billing shipping address, shipping method. Uh, so from here you can edit the shipping and billing uh, address so for that uh, customer have to enable shipping address option in configuration settings of website so it is already enabled and from here you can edit the address and then below here we can see the payment method that is uh, you can select available payment accurate so you can see here the payment accurate that we have just created before that is test with the test mode okay so uh, from here you can choose payment accurate and click pay now and make the payment so payment is processed and you can see the payment information okay so that's how we create and configure payment accurate in order 14 community 
If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any auto implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to auto at cyprocess.com. Thank you.